Adam, quite a scene though. Uh, Tennessee beat Alabama 52-49. Chase McGrath wobbled a 40-yard field goal through at the end of regulation. Tennessee wins. What do you make of just the, the scene? What this means and what this scene looked like? Well, I mean, Tennessee fans showed out in the way that we thought they would. Mm -hmm. uh, sell out crowd, we knew that. Orange everywhere. And, you know, I mean, they created what's going to be sort of a visual of this entire college football season. Everybody in the country, this wasn't Knoxville, this wasn't Tennessee, this wasn't the SEC. Everybody in the country looked at it. This was the, this was the centerpiece. This was the pinnacle of college football mm -hmm. so far uh, this year. And Tennessee, I mean, played a good game against a good team. I, I thought it was interesting the way it went down is that when you have a championship level team, which Alabama seems to be, and a contender like Tennessee seems to be, at some point in the game, that championship team is going to make the plays and finish it off. And it seemed that way toward the end. And in Hooker's interception, he never does that. Uh, the scoop and score Alabama had, I'm sure you felt like, and I felt like, you thought, okay, this is when it turns, yeah. and this is when Alabama does what Alabama does, and uh, and the opposite happened. And I thought that said something about the staying power and the potential of this Tennessee team that they pulled out a game like this. And that was why I picked Alabama in this game, just for that championship pedigree. Mm -hmm. There's something to be said for a team knowing what it takes to win these games. But we're now seeing Tennessee win these games. That, that's new. That's different. The game itself, Adam, what was so impressive to you about what Tennessee did? Uh, I mean, Jalen Hyatt, five touchdowns. <clears throat> Say it again. What was so impressive about what Tennessee was able to do in this game and winning it? I mean, Jalen Hyatt, five touchdowns. That's one of the best you know, performances a wide receiver has ever had. That's uh, tied to the SEC record, breaks the Tennessee record. Um, it's just, it was phenomenal that one guy could do that much against Alabama. Uh, Hinted Hooker played pretty well. We mentioned the mistakes, but he had far more uh, good parts of his game. Um, and just Tennessee, Tennessee needed to win a shootout, and they sort of dictated the tone of this game. Alabama played Tennessee's type of game, not the other way around. And again, that's, that, that's where they traded places a little bit. The, the, the contender became sort of the championship level team tonight. And Tennessee is that. We now firmly believe that. Is Tennessee now in the national title picture, and what does it take to stay in that conversation from now on? Yeah, I mean, by the time a lot of people see this video, some of the polls may already be out. And whether Tennessee is one or two or three or four or whatever, the, the college football playoff polls that will come out here in a few weeks, that's what matters. And Tennessee, if they remain unbeaten between now and then, will be in that four. Uh, because of what they've done against top 25 teams, because especially what they did tonight. Um, you know, I mean, you and I were talking about it before we went on air here, is that uh, sometimes you write those things and you know there's a little bit of a fan service that Tennessee fans would like to hear that they're in that picture, but there's none of that here. They're in it. They deserve to be in it. They've, they've earned it. To this point, if you're looking at resumes, Tennessee's probably the best team in the country of resumes just at this midpoint in the season. Four top 25 wins. Tennessee still has Georgia on the schedule, still has some tough SEC games remaining. Kentucky's in that mix, certainly. But Tennessee's right there in that conversation, and that's certainly not something we've said in quite some time, not since you and I have been covering nope. Tennessee. Stay tuned to Go Vols Extra and Knox News for all the latest on Tennessee's thrilling win against Alabama and also moving forward through the rest of the season.